Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be teaching y'all how to install the iStupid mod menu into your Gorilla Tag. So this is going to be fake Gorilla Tag because I don't have real Gorilla Tag on this account. The other one got it infinitely banned. So yeah, I don't have it yet on this account. I didn't bought it. But for that, you are going to need a uh, Steam VR to be able to run. So you need to be able to run Steam and you have the version of Steam. If you have the real Gorilla Tag, you're still going to follow the same thing. It's just going to be not the exact same game. That's the difference, so you can skip the first part because it's not for you since this is downloading another game. So first thing you want to do, let me just close that up real quick. So you want to go to your browser, whatever it is, and you're going to press over here and search up for itch.io. So I know there's a lot of game that has virus on itch.io, but this one, trust me, it doesn't. I have it, I play it, and there is not. So, you want to search up Gorilla Tag port, just like that. And the, by the way, the, the, um, it doesn't work with other people, like you can't play with other people, but it's still Gorilla Tag. So I don't know if this is working but it's not the one i wanted to show you so this is the one gorilla tag port i'm gonna put the link in the description if you want to have the exact same one and be sure it's the right one so just press download once you have it now you're just gonna close out of this and go to your steam so go to steam just for that i'll remove the old one that i have right now what you want to do is go to your library, make sure that you're at your library, not in the store or anything else. If you're in not there, it's gonna, it's not gonna work. Just press add a game, add a non-Steam game. I'm gonna press browse on there. It's in French for me, but don't mind. Wait, I'm gonna press browse now. You sh I should have, you should have something like this. You want to go to your downloads and Gorilla Tag uh, ported. You want to export it. And then you can put it. So in my case, it's this one. So little tag open, add the selection, and now it will add it. This is not the real little tag, but it's a pretty decent. It's a pretty good game. So once you've downloaded it, you're gonna press these little three dots. Uh, not three dots, but that wrench. This browse local files. And now you can just put that down for now because we don't need it right now. You're gonna go back to your browser, whatever it was, and search up for Monkey Mod Manager. Just like that. Monkey Mod Manager. Press the first link, GitHub. And I'll put this link as well in the description for you to have the exact same one. So, what you wanna do is basically press releases over there. This one, the latest one, it says over there the tag. Whatever you just press it and download monkeymod.exe. Just download this. After you can go on a brand new page and search up for I Stupid Mod Menu. The first GitHub link, it's gonna be in the description once again. Now releases it says tags over there, it might say plus 77 releases, but in my case it says that right now. It's been updated 18 18 hours ago. Just enough, press that. And now these are all the mods that was added to the thing not that long ago. So yeah. That's everything that have been added and removed. Nothing, clearly. You're just gonna press I stupid mod menu over there. Download it. It's not a virus or anything, I swear. Just download it. I have it in my thing. So now you just wanna open your Gorilla Tag ported thingy. Or just go to Monkey Mod Manager first. You need to go to Monkey Mod Manager first. And now you want to press these little three dots over there and try to find your game. So in my case, it's this one. It's the real tag ported that you want to find. Now you want to press install slash update, and now it will install them and install completed. And now. You just press enable mods if it's not already enabled. That says status, disable mods, now they're enabled. You can just close out of monkey mod manager once you've done that. Then what you want to do is basically go 
to this and go back to your real time footage. So close out of this, go to Steam again, and press this wrench again. Um, I don't know how to say that, but it's like, yeah, this, the third one, browse local file. Now in here, you'll have a BepMX folder now. It would say BepMX folder in here. You wanna press that, and in here, you wanna press plugins. I don't know why, but for me, they're kind of place when I added them and stuff. So you wanna just, I'm gonna delete that one to show you how to do it. So now you have your plugins there. You just wanna press right click, open a new one, open a new page of it, and put it down like over here, I guess. Now what you wanna do is go to your downloads and get the mod, the iStupid mod menu into your game. Plugins, make sure it's in the plugins, not in anything else than plugins. Now you want to remove if there's anything after it. If there's something after it, it's because you did, um, you did, uh, how to say that? You did, um, have it more than once in your computer. But, yeah, now it should be good like that. So, yeah. So now you can close those out and play the game but before that you want to close steam and open it back again so it can add the stuff so yeah that's basically it now i'm gonna see you on my headset to show you what it does